In today's video, I am going to be breaking down DJ Wagner and how he is such an amazing player and has a bright future. Let's get down and let's check out his game. He is very good. Okay, so in this first clip, he is going one-on-one -on -one against his defender. From there, at this point, he tries to go into a hesitation, but he lost the ball. He's able to then recover, does a quick hesitation towards this left side, which then shifts that defender. And then, as soon as that defender's feet point in that opposite direction as to where you want to go, you need to attack that opposite side. This is telling you that, of course, that defender now wants to go in that direction. And that's what happens now that defender has to then, of course, take that extra couple of milliseconds to turn around and to continue along with you. At this point in time, he's unable to keep up. And then we see DJ Wagner who's able to attack that side with only one dribble. He's able to stop really quickly on this left foot, heel toe, and then he's able to kick down his right foot. He's already looking to score this basket. He's able to go up for a shot. Now when he does go up for a shot, he goes straight up. This is a very important key because if he was to drift forward, this player or even this guy, his main defender, could try and block that shot. By going straight up, it's going to be a much easier shot, but also he's able to make that basket without even having a contest with a shot blocker. I also really want to show you this over here, and of course here he's able to catch that ball on a quick swing pass and as soon as he catches it he's already got his hands ready he's already got his feet super wide he knows what he wants to do and that's to shoot the ball as soon as he gets that ball he does plant that left foot and he starts to look at that rim at this point in time he kicks that right foot down he gets his shoulders over his knees over his toes and he's able to go up and sky up for that sh three point shot he also has a very good shooting form having that ball on the right side of his forehead getting that shooting triangle that i always talk about i will be breaking down his shooting form in the future now this next one is a fantastic move a quick jab and then of course a left side dribble and of course a quick hesitation where he's able to freeze those defenders he's able to collapse that defense so he can kick it out for a three however the defense was able to recover and because of that he was able to continue out towards this right side this is great off ball movement because after he gets stuck along the baseline here he's able to kick that ball out he doesn't just stop where he is here he then continues out towards the corner where there's an open spot for him and he's able to then receive that pass for the three this is a very high level off ball movement skill that he has i really do like how he's able to jab takes a quick defensive dribble out towards this left side where he's able to do that quick killer crossover he's able to attack that rim with very minimal dribbling and then he's able to then quick hesitation to be able to at least freeze this help side defender he's drawn a double team where he should be able to and at this point a triple team there's got to be players who are open out there somewhere and because of that he's able to get that pass it was, the pass was a bit off we'll give him that however he was able to find that open spot like I was saying now this was something that I always like to do myself and that is of course a quick shot it doesn't matter how far away from the three-point line it is if your main defender is getting screened and he's going to go underneath that screen and this hedging player is not hedging far enough out to be able to guard your shot you need to pull up for your shot we can see that the defender here is giving him room and of course he's a very good three-point shooter as it is but as soon as that screener comes up and you notice that this player is going to be looking to go underneath that screen that means that he doesn't respect your three-point shot and you need to have him pay if you can hit that shot of course okay so now in this next clip it looks like they're the other team is playing either a man that switched off or they are playing a 2-3 zone which I would be more inclined to say that they're playing a 2-3 zone he is is able of course DJ Wagner is able to see that this defender's feet are not very quick he has his heels on the ground you never want to have that as a defender but as an offensive player and we can kind of see that he's looking down at that too as the offensive player if you're noticing that players have their heels on the ground this is a very very good indication that you can drive and you should be able to get past him easily 
always try to look at the player's heels if you're looking to drive because if they are not on their toes and they're on their heels as we see here that means that they are not going to be very fast at reacting to you driving towards the basketball net and you should be able to finish with a layup or a dunk this is a very good drive right here so he is in the corner he could have taken a quick dribble out towards this left side for a three but instead he decided to attack the rim he does a quick over the hand crossover where he's able to then gather that ball keeps it close to his body so that these players these defenders cannot reach in and then he gets both hands on it with his two foot drive he then goes right left this is very important because by starting on your right foot here going right left you're able to have more power going off of two feet into the defender and by going up with two hands at first and having this off hand to stop anyone from blocking your shot you should be able to be successful when driving towards the rim we see this once again after this screen now this time he goes right left once again right here right left He's got a big defender on him, however, he's able to then go shoulder first and he keeps his shoulder over top of his foot there so that now he can go up with two hands strong and finish with that layup. He is very good at finishing around the rim. He's also very good at taking three-point shots. Overall, DJ Wagner is going to be a fantastic basketball player. It is somebody who is able to draw a double or triple team who can kick off for a pass. And also, he's able to finish around the rim with contact. And he's able to hit that three-point shot. Overall, I think he has the complete package. There are a few things I would like to see him work on. But overall, he's a very good player. I hope to see you guys again in my next video. I hope that you've enjoyed and learned something in today's video.